Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with another toy room video and we're gonna try something a little bit different today. Now normally on the channel I do full room tours where I show off the room in its entirety. I go through every single thing that's in this room and it's usually like a pretty long video and I kind of just like skim over everything. I thought it'd be cool to start a new series. I'm gonna call it shelf tours and I thought it would just be cool to kind of deep dive and take a closer more detailed look at particular sections of my room and go through it kind of you know shelf by shelf. So in today's in this video, I want to start by taking a look at my entire video game collection and movie collection. And I am going to have to bundle Hot Wheel collection into that as well because my Hot Wheels are displayed along my video game collection, which we'll take a look at in a second. But basically, we're going to just take a look at this whole corner behind me, this entire wall behind me over here, as well as this section right across from me right over there which is just recently redone so it's also going to be cool to show off the the work and the remodeling i did over there so i think that's pretty much the gist of it um, i'm also going to be using this brand new gimbal that i got so in the next shots where my face is not included in the shots um it should be a lot more a lot more steady and and fluid uh you won't have as much like jittery uh hand movements from me holding the camera because the gimbal should stabilize everything so definitely let me know if the quality is improved with that and also let me know how you guys feel about this new series down in the comments below and without further ado let's go ahead and dive into my video game collection my movie collection and my hot wheels collection let's go ahead and get into all it. right guys so i figured we'd start in this corner and then make our way over this way so i have the gimbal going hopefully everything is very nice and smooth but we're going to start over right in this section and we'll start from the bottom and work our way to the top so i just have a bunch of random consoles over this way so i have different variations of xbox 360s as well as the slim ps1 and then the sega dreamcast the original ps1 again more 360s Atari 2600 as well as the Nintendo 64 and then that's going to bring us up this way to my VCR as well as my Model 1 Sega Genesis. Now the VCR is currently going as you might be able to hear in today's movie of choice that I have on. It's going to be Hercules, such a classic movie, one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. Uh, that's also going to bring us over this way to our um, handheld section. And one thing that I noticed right off the bat with the gimbal, let me see, there we go. Okay, so I am still getting used to this, so I just figured out how to point it downwards. But there you go. So this is my handheld section right here. So you can see all my different Game Boy Colors, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy SPs, Nintendo DS, DS Lights, 3DS, uh, Motorola Razors, iPods, as well as PSPs and other various handhelds all throughout. So we'll go ahead and level back up. And then I mentioned I have Hercules playing and that is playing on my Samsung GX TV with the awesome doors right here that collapse and kind of create this like little shell as you can see. And then they have the speakers built into the TV as well as a giant subwoofer in the back of the TV as you can kind of see right there. Um, I'll leave that door closed for now. That's also going to lead us to the Xbox One mini fridge or the Xbox Series X. I'm sorry, the Xbox Series X mini fridge. As you can see, it is, there we go, lit up. So it's got the cool LEDs and everything. I don't actually use it to store drinks, ironically, um, just because I don't want to leave it running 24 seven because it's not more so a fridge as it is like a cooler. So you just kind of have to leave it running like all the time. And I don't feel comfortable doing that just because I don't want to have an electrical fire or something break out in here. Um, and I also have my Lego DeLorean over here just because it was the only place that I could fit it right now because the thing is massive. So that's why that is there. And then I have my original Oculus Quest I, I used to spend so much time playing this, I don't spend as much time with it now, but I really need to. So I'll go ahead and flip that door open right back there. And then I'm going to close this door so that I can show off the Nintendo Game Cubes that I have over here. And then I just placed the Hercules of VHS right there while it is playing right in here. So then moving up, that's going to bring us to these little like Walmart mini arcades. So nothing too crazy to say about them. You guys have seen these plenty of times before. And then moving on from there, that's going to bring me to some of my arcade one-ups, not all of them. So we have the Marvel superheroes right over here. And then on top of the Marvel superheroes cabinet, that is where I keep a bunch of my Game Boy games, as you can see right here. So basically, all, all my handheld games, Game Boy, 
3DS, they all live right there. And then you can see I do have the risers for that. And then moving on, that's going to take us to the Street Fighter, the original Street Fighter Arcade 1UP with this really cool bandana that I got from Arcade 1UP at the NFL Blitz event that I went to. So I just hung that up there. Doesn't look the best as far as placement, but it was the only place I could really find to hang it up. So, you know, it'll do. Uh, and then on here I have some of these, I forgot what these are called, they were really big back in the day, the batteries are dead in them, but um, let me see if, oh, Pixel Pals, right there. So I have these Pixel Pals, and like I said, the batteries are dead, but they do uh, light up, so that is pretty cool. So I have Akuma and Chun-Li, and then over here I have the Final Fight cabinet, which is still one of my favorite arcade one-up cabinets of all time. And then that's going to bring us down to something I've been playing a lot lately. My one, my PSP lighting kind of sucks, but yeah, I've been playing a ton of PSP PSP lately. It's really crazy how ahead of its time that this actually was. If you really sit down and think about how ahead of its time the PSP was, and man, uh, it, it's mind blowing that this came out when it did and the capabilities that it actually had. Um, so then moving on from Final Fight. We are going to switch gears real quick. We're going to bypass all of this just so I can kind of keep it consistent. And we're going to go over to the Pac-Man Arcade 1UP. As well as my Pac-Man Lite that I have on display right on top of it. So this was my most recent Arcade 1UP pickup. And I got this on clearance for $150 bucks at Target. So uh, I'm sorry, at Walmart, not at Target. At Walmart. So you really could not beat uh, the price. It was definitely a steal. I also have this Pac-Man Tamagotchi on here and just... Uh, because I have that one over here, I've decided to put the Star Wars R2-D2 Tamagotchi there as well. So now, moving on from there, we're going to swing back over this way and take a look at the video game shelf over All here. Alright, so starting from the top over here, we're actually going to move up this way where you can see some of my World of Nintendo figures. So we have the Metroid and then the Entertainment Earth Comic Con exclusive uh, Mario and Peach as well as the Mario and Bowser 2-pack over here, and some uh, complete in box Super Nintendo games, as well as this Mario Odyssey poster, and then the Kirby shopping bag from Target, and then the Super Metroid giant Super Nintendo replica case that uh, actually housed the t-shirt, and then the Mario and Donkey Kong 2-pack as well. And I just noticed Donkey Kong fell over, I'll have to pick him up after the video, but we have all of my 8-bit figures here from Jack Specific as well. And like I mentioned, Donkey Kong unfortunately has fallen over, but you can see him right over there. And then we have all the different variations of Link, as well as Mega Man, some different variations of him right there. And that'll bring us over here, and that'll bring us into my NES collection. So I'm not going to go through and list every single game, obviously, but you guys can look at all of the games as I slowly pan through it, you know, in a timely manner so we're not here all day. All the games are alphabetized. And then that leads us into Super Nintendo, as you can see, all alphabetized as well. And then from Super Nintendo, we're going to drop down to a continuation of Super Nintendo, as well as just some random Genesis games that I had nowhere else to put so I just dropped them over here. And these little Sonic like 8-bit style figures. And then more Super Nintendo games over this way. And random Atari 2600 games that again I did not really have a spot to put. So I just kind of threw them there for now. And then naturally from Super Nintendo we go into Nintendo 64. And just have a bunch of other random um, just like figures and stuff. And this body armor that I have here specifically because it's the Kobe Bryant edition and I have my Kobe Bryant jersey right over there. So I felt like it was only right to have that there. And continuing back over this way, we have more Nintendo 64. I'll kind of try and do my best to get out of the way. I know the lighting is all over the place, but hopefully you guys can see this pretty decently. So Nintendo 64, again, more just random Mario figures. And my latest pickup is these Splatoon 3 sunglasses from Target for the promo for Splatoon 3. And then here are all of my GameCube games. I don't have the biggest GameCube collection, unfortunately, but I have some pretty decent games that I enjoy. 
And then I found this collection to be growing pretty big as of late, and that is my Wii collection. Uh, I've just been finding a ton of games in the thrift store recently, so I am very happy with the way that this collection is coming out. I'm doing my best to try and get the hang of this gimbal over here, so hopefully everything you know is looking okay. But there is the Wii collection. And then that brings us into the Wii U collection, which really isn't that big. So um, I kind of had to skip this shelf here and bring the Wii U collection right over here because this shelf over here is only big enough for like CDs. So I had to put like handhelds over here. As you can see, all of my Nintendo DS and 3DS games, as well as my PS1 collection, which I know that there is a glare. So hopefully you guys can see all of this. And then moving on from there, I also have this little like CD booklet. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but that also has a bunch of loose PS1 games in there as well. And then coming back over this way, like we mentioned before, we have the Wii U collection, but we also have my Nintendo Switch collection. So I have all the big box stuff first, and then that leads us to all of the standard games right here. And then that leads us into my PSP collection. So that goes over this way. And then also my PSP movies. So I don't have the biggest PSP collection as you can see, but I have some games that I really enjoy like NFL Street 2 and 3, as well as Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max, one of the best Street Fighter games of all time in my opinion. And then coming down over this way, that brings us to my giant PS2 collection. And I used to have so much more PS2 games than what I have now, but just selling them over time and whatnot so uh, i downsized quite a bit in my ps2 collection but i still have some pretty decent stuff as you can see moving on through this way and then coming back down over here kind of try and angle this gimbal up correctly again my apologies i am still kind of getting the hang of this but here we go, that is the continuation of my PS2 collection. I'm trying to go slow and fast at the same time. Slow so you guys can check out all the games that I have, but also fast to the point where we're not here all day staring at the spines of these games. And then that's going to bring us down here to the PS3, PS4, and PS5 collection. So you have all these games here and it's kind of hard to get into this corner I'll see if I can kind of get in there not really but there you go so that is the first part of the video game collection so we're actually going to skip the VHS's for right now because the continuation of my video game collection is right over this so before we make our way over here we're actually gonna bypass that really quickly and take a look at the command center over here forgive the light that's in the way but i have this amazing 55 inch sony oled tv as well as all of my retro and current consoles a mixture of both all wired in here plugged in ready to go at a moment's notice so you can see i even have the mini versions all hacked fully loaded with the entire library on on all of them and then more retro consoles as well as last gen and current gen consoles right up there. So then from there, we're gonna go around and now we're going to hit this shelf right over here. And as you can see, this is my original Xbox, Xbox 360 and Xbox One collection, as well as Sega Genesis, some random PC games and then like just whatever else I had that kind of just fit in here. So not as big as some of my other collections, the Xbox collection. I got into the Xbox life cycle of games late in the game, so I never had the original Xbox, but um, I did jump on board with the Xbox 360 and then the Xbox One. So that's why I have a ton of Xbox One games because that was my main console for a while. So yeah, I have a lot of Xbox One games. And then that leads us over this way to the Genesis. Not a ton of Genesis games, and actually all the ones that I have, I have found in the thrift, which is actually pretty crazy. 
and then I just have a bunch of random PC games. A lot of Sims, those are all Christina's. And then that leads us to more PC games of The Sims, but a bunch of albums, CD albums as well. And just, uh, I, I had a, an itch at one point in time where I was collecting CDs from the thrift store, so this is pretty much like everything I picked up during that time. And then, like I mentioned before, that leads us to my Hot Wheels collection because I have just a ton of Hot Wheels displayed on here. So I have them all arranged by color. And that is the only like organization pattern that I have to them. So they're all just arranged in the color of the rainbow essentially. So we start with black, work our way to dark gray and silver, and then you know so on and so forth. And again just kind of quickly panning through all of this. And I hope the, the gimbal is doing okay. I'm, I'm really nervous about how you know that's going to come out because this is my first time ever using this so it's definitely a learning curve for sure it is heavier than i thought too uh, i mean I, I guess i should have figured but it's just much much heavier than i thought so uh using this in, in extended periods of time i don't know how people do it and i hear my vhs rewinding right now i guess the vcr it ended and the vcr is automatically rewinding it so if you hear any weird noises in the background that is what's going on it is definitely rewinding it sounds like a spaceship taking off right now so moving on from there this is the movie collection primarily blu-rays and dvds and again i'm not going to spend too much time on this because most people don't really collect these anymore um i know i definitely have slowed down with collecting just because everything's on streaming right now but i do like to have physical stuff so if it is a movie that i really really enjoy then I go ahead and pick it up on Blu-ray just because. But I haven't really picked up a movie in a while. I don't, I think, I really don't know what the last brand new movie is that I picked up. It might have been Spider-Man, uh, the latest Spider-Man movie. Um, yeah, that might be, let me just angle the camera up. There we go. That might be a little better. So hopefully you guys can see all this in a while. The, the VCR is going crazy in the background right now. But there we go, that is the movie collection. But we're not done because we have another movie collection right over this way and that is the VHS collection, which I am very, very proud of. I definitely want to expand it for sure, but this is where we're at with it right now. And Hercules is missing right there for obvious reasons. Yeah, this is the amazing VHS collection there's nothing like artwork on VHS tapes or VHS like cases I should say did I just show I don't know if I showed this roll off or not if I did I'm showing it again and we're gonna go down this way I'm gonna try and angle the gimbal there we go and I, I know I have this little R2-D2 droid in the way you're gonna have to forgive me on that and that is uh, I know Stranger Things isn't uh, VHS it's actually Blu-ray but it's the packaging is made to look like VHS so there we go and it looks like, speaking of VHS, it automatically, this VCR has really cool, when the movie's done, it automatically rewinds it and then ejects it when it's done. So you can see it just finished and it's on the blue screen right now. So that is going to do it for the video game slash movie slash Hot Wheel collection. Alright you guys, so that is going to do it for this video. I, I'm unsure about how this video came out. I know like the actual content of the video is nothing different from what I've done before But messing with that gimbal was definitely a learning experience and I was learning on the fly as I was filming So I really really hope that the quality came out decent I won't know until I'm editing this video, but definitely leave me some feedback down below Do you guys prefer me using the gimbal to kind of have those smooth transitions while I'm moving around or you do you prefer me using Just a regular old tripod like I'm holding in my hand right now um, definitely let me know I'm unsure I paid not super expensive for this gimbal but it was a decent amount of money that I want to at least start using it more often this was my first time using it and I bought it like a month ago so definitely if, if I can if you guys enjoy it and I get better at it uh, let me know down in the comments below if you want to see more content using the gimbal to kind of have those smooth pans and transitions if not maybe I'll just use like gimbal for b-roll in some cases and whatnot but uh, that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. That link's in the description down below. I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. As always, guys, stay tuned for more.
and I'll see you guys next time.